trying to piece this together. As you can see, there's at least six vehicles that are involved uh, at this collision on, on site here. All lanes are now back open after this major multi-vehicle crash overnight. It shut down both directions of Highway 101 through Sunnyvale for nearly nine hours. Thanks for being here. I'm Julian Glover. And I'm Kristen Z. Three people are dead. Five others were taken to the hospital with injuries after that chain reaction crash. It happened before 1230 a.m., shutting down northbound and southbound traffic, as we mentioned, both directions between Lawrence Expressway and Fair Oaks Avenue. ABC 7 News reporter Amanda Del Castillo has details on that crash. With daylight, the overnight destruction spread across both directions of 101 and Sunnyvale, easy to see. CHP says it all started as a solo vehicle crash just before 1230 this morning. A pickup truck traveling north lost control and hit the median a short distance from the Lawrence Expressway exit. This caused a chain reaction, resulting in three fatalities with five additional people injured. Involved in the collision on the northbound side, uh, we have at least six vehicles. Uh, the uh, additionally, on the southbound side, one vehicle involved on the southbound side. San Jose CHP officer Ross Lee says drivers and passengers of those cars got out of their vehicles, standing somewhere on or near the roadway. The three killed were all men, two of whom were sent over the center divider by subsequent crashes, landing on the southbound side. They stopped within the lanes and got out of their vehicles to assess damage and check on the other drivers, make sure that everybody was okay. CHP believes the two were then killed by a car traveling southbound. More than eight hours later, around 8.40, southbound traffic reopened to morning commuters. Shortly after 9, northbound traffic resumed. CHP says it is still trying to determine the sequence of events that led to the late night pileup and the deaths of three people. In Sunnyvale, I'm Amanda Del Castillo, ABC 7 News.